So uh, here it has been told that let R be the relation in the set 1, 2, 3, 4. So the set A is given as uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And R is the relation on the set A. It means that R maps A to A. And here the relation R is given as 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 4, 4, 1, 3, 3, 3, and 3,2. And we have to find the correct answer. R is reflexive and symmetric but not transitive. So we have to find is R reflexive, symmetric, or transitive. So now we can see that 1, 1 is there, 2, 2 is there, 3, 3 is there, 4, 4 is also there. So now it means that A, A belongs to R for all. A belongs to the set A. Since 1, 1 is also there, 2, 2 is also there, 3, 3 is also there, 4, 4 is also there. So it means that, uh, that R is a reflexive relation. R is a reflexive relation. And then uh, here 1, 2 is there, 2, 3 is not there. But 1, 3 is there, 3, 2 is there, so 1, 2 is also there. And similarly, 3, 2 is there. And then uh, 1, 2. Okay, so and if a1, a2, so here 1, 2 is there, but 1, 4 is not there. 2, 3 is not there. 2, 4 is not there. <clears throat> so here, and here we can see, and here 1, 3 and 3, 2 belongs to the set R. So 1, 2 also belongs to the relation R. So it means that if a1, a2 and a2, a3 belongs to R, then it implies that a1, a3 will also belong to the set R. So it means that the relation R is a transitive relation. It is a transitive relation. Transitive relation. And here 1, 2 is there, but 2, 1 is not there. 1, 3 is there, but 3, 1 is not there. So here we can see here 1, 2 belongs to R, but 2, 1 does not belong to the set R. So I can say that if A1, A2 belongs to R, so here A1, A2 belongs to R, but A2, A1 does not belong to the set R. So I can say that R is not symmetric relation. The relation R is not symmetric. So it means that it is reflexive and transitive, but not symmetric. Reflexive and transitive, but not symmetric. So therefore, the option B is the correct answer. So hope you have understood. Thank you.